Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video, I am going to cover SAS stored compiled macro facility. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about me and my experience and my certifications. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview, you can email me for help. Let's move on to the next slide. Stored compiled macro. So first, let's read the definition. In this method, you save the compiled macro in a SAS catalog in a library and then you can access that macro. It will directly execute every time without compiling. To achieve this, we need to complete below steps. First, set up a library to store compiled macro. Second, create a macro. Third, call the macro. So guys, whenever you develop a macro and when you call that particular macro, the macro is first compiled and then it gets executed. So the compilation part, if we save it in a permanent location, then the next time if we call that particular macro again, then macro will not compile. It will directly execute. So the compilation time we can save. How we will do this? We'll use these three steps and we'll discuss this one by one. Let's move on to the next slide. The step one, set up a library to store compiled macro. So first we will create a library using lib name statement. So lib name, library reference is test and then this location. And after that, I'm using some options to enable stored compiled macro facility. So we'll use options m stored says m store equal test. So m stored means this option searches for stored compiled macro in a catalog in the SAS library. So wherever you are going to store the compiled macro, this option will enable SAS to search that particular compiled macro. Next is SAS M store. It specifies the library that contains a catalog of stored compiled macro. So wherever your macro is going to be stored, you provide that location using this option. So in our case, we are giving location as test library. And the third is catalog. A SAS catalog stores compiled macro. So SAS catalog, you can imagine it's like a folder where we save files. It will save that particular macro. Let's move on to the next slide. Now we are going to create macro. So here I'm using percent macro and creating a macro frac underscore data and passing three parameters. Live name means library name, D name means data set name, V name means variable name and then forward slash and store. This store means this particular macro. I am creating it as stored compiled macro. After that, I'm using a proc frac processor to create one way frequency. So proc frac data equal m percent live name, the parameter that holds the library name, then two dots because one dot gets resolved along with the first variable live name. So to achieve the two level naming means library name and data set name, we need to give another dot. Then m percent d name. D name means data set name. Then tables and then the variable name, v name. So on this v name, variable that we will be passing one way frequency will be generated then run and after that percent man frac underscore data you are not saying the underscore here maybe due to this any reason we have a underscore here don't get confused here we have underscore okay if you run this particular part and the first step and second step together what will happen we'll discuss the this in next slide so when you run this this particular folder you will see says MACR will be created in the location that we have provided along with the test library. So this is the location in test folder. This says MACR will be created. What it is? It is called catalog. It stores the says compiled macros. How you will check the content of this catalog? You can use proc catalog. Catalog equal test is our library and catalog name is says macr then contents run so when you run this it will print the result in result window and this will be the result so it has one entry frac underscore data so this is our stored compiled macro and it is giving us the date and time and modified all the information you can see here it is showing only one entry because in this location i have only one macro that I have saved so far. If you have multiple macros, it will show multiple entries. I hope 
this is clear let's move on to the next slide and this is the third step now what i am going to do so here we will call that particular macro that we have just created so i am using percent frac underscore data and i am passing three parameter sas help this is the library name cars this is the data set name make this is the variable name and if you run this this result will be generated so one way frequency on make variable i have attached the partial screenshot of the result i hope this is clear let's move on to the next slide okay so you run your macro first time okay how you will test whether it's compiling the macro second time or not so what you need to do is just close your sas session okay close the sas entirely and then just write these line because this library it's a permanent library so you need to access this so just create this library again and then these options to enable says compiled macro facility and then call the macro frac underscore data and if you call this then it will give you the result so i am using only first step and third step but the second step where we have defined the macro we are not executing that part if you can see directly calling the macro in the new session and it will run fine so what was the second step second step was this we were defining the macro so this part of the code we are not executing if you can see we are running first and then third not the macro definition so it will run fine okay it will not compile again it will directly execute so this is the benefit of stored compiled macro facility however there are some disadvantages also the main disadvantage is that since you are saving the stored compiled macro so the definition of the macro is not stored so for that you need to save your source code somewhere because if that compiled macro is deleted how you will recreate it so you need your code to be saved somewhere so that's why we do not use this facility why because after some time maybe you are working in an organization after 5 year 10 years you need to move from one platform to another platform and you need to convert your code to a new platform but you do not have a source code for this particular macro how will you recreate this you will not be able to recreate that particular thing so that's why we do not use this functionality instead we use sas auto call facility that i have discussed in previous tutorial so just go and watch this let's move on to the next slide that's it in this session guys if you like this video please press the like button subscribe my channel or if you have any suggestions you can write in comment section we will meet in the next session till the time bye and take care